to show you how to import BX fonts into Imbrilliance. I'm on the Designs by Juju's Embroidery Design site, and I just purchased Wedding Templates 3. I'm going to put that onto a fabric basket. And when you open up the sale page for the wedding templates, it tells you that the font used in this particular design is the Abigail font. And that's not included with the purchase of the template, so I had to get that as well. And I wanted to show you the difference on your downloads. If you click on this download button, it gives you a choice of either uh, downloading all formats or the format that is specific to your home embroidery machine. And if you notice, there is no format here that says BX because there is not a font included with the template. So I would download just the PES version, and here it is over here when I downloaded it. When you purchase a font, when you open download, you can choose all formats or the format that works with your machine, which in this case I would really call an alphabet you would have to move each letter individually into the embroidery field in Embrilliance and place it versus what you do with a BX font. And a BX font allows you to type words in Embrilliance like you would a word processor. So if you want the BX font file and PES, because that's my file type for the Brother Luminaire, then I would go ahead and download all formats. And you can see it is downloading here. This is going into my downloads folder. I have Imbrilliance open right here. And I want to get that Abigail font in here. So I can click on the A right here to choose lettering. And you can see that I do not have, let me go to the DBJJs, I do not have the Abigail in here and I want to put it there. So I'm going to come over here to my yellow folder and the uh, on the bottom of my screen I'm going to go to downloads. This is that font file right there and I'm going to right click, I want to cut and I'm going to go into my embroidery folder and in my embroidery folder, I have a folder called fonts right there. And I am going to right click and paste. And that put that, it alphabetized it. Where did it go? Right there. I'm going to rename this. So I'm going to right click, rename, and I'm just going to arrow over to dbjj-abigail. If I just double click on this, it won't work. It, this file needs to be unzipped. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to extract all and I'm going to leave it in the same folder where it's at. I'm just going to click extract. Once this gets extracted, I don't need all of these others, but right here, the BX font is right there. I'm going to double click the folder and you want to get, it looks like a little green and yellow box with a needle in it. That is the BX font. So I'm going to click this and then I'm going to hold down my shift key and click the bottom one and that highlights them all in between. And then I'm just going to grab them and drag them into Imbrilliance and let go. And it says DBJJ Abigail 1 has been installed. Click OK. There's one and a quarter. There's the two inch, half inch, one and a half. All done. Now when I click the A, I can come here and I'll go to DBJJ. There's the Abigail right there. It is that simple to install BX fonts into Embrilliance.